next chapter is integration and some formula of integration so integration of constant that is 1 1 dx is what x that is if there is 2 then it is integration is 2x so that is integration of k is what integration of k is kx plus constant integration of x raised to n is what x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 integration of 1 by x is log x integration of x raised to minus 1 x raised to minus 1 means 1 by x is log x x raised to minus n again in x raised to minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 1 same formula 1 by ax plus b is 1 by a log ax plus b that is if there is a in place of x there is ax plus b type factor that is linear factor uh, polynomial of degree 1 then its rules are same but only divide by a that is a uh, 1 by x log x integration of 1 by x is log x and 1 by x plus b is what log x plus b divided by a or into 1 by a uh, similar the rules integration of cos x is uh, sin x integration of sin x is minus cos x integration of sec square x is tan x because tan a, derivative of tan x is sec square x then derivative of sec x is what sec x into tan x so integration of sec x into tan x is sec x yeah, integration of cosec x is minus cosec x into cot x. So integration of cosec x into cot x is minus cosec x. In the, uh, integration of uh, derivative of cot x is what? Minus cosec square x. And that's why the derivative integration of cosec square x is minus cot x. Uh, integration of tan u is log sec u. Integration of cot u is log sin u. Integration of sec u is log sec u into tan u. Uh, that is integration of sec x is log sec x in plus tan x. Uh, in this way, the another formula, integration of cosec x is what? Log cosec x minus cot x. So remember, integration of e raised to x is itself e raised to x. Integration of a raised to x is a raised to x divided by log a. In the derivative, it is into log a. So these are some rules of integration. Integration of root a square minus x square is what? sin inverse x by a and integration of uh, x a square plus x square or x square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a integration of x root x square minus a square is 1 by a sec inverse x by a this way integration of sin square u tan square u all these formulas integration of a square minus u square is 1 by 2 log u plus a divided by u minus a 1 by u square minus a square integration is 1 by 2a log u minus a divided by u plus a. Integration of root a square plus x square. So all these formulas are the formula of integration. Uh, already we observed in the 12th standard, then at the FYBSC level, this integration chapter. Okay. So here is the our chapter is multiple integrals, that is double integral and triple integral. So, we observe some graphs of the functions. So, this is very simple graphs of the functions. That is, suppose this is the equation of a straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. And this is general form of the line of equation straight line y is equal to mx plus c is the slope intercept form and y is equal to mx is again slope intercept form but passing through the if the constant term is uh, is not present then the line passing through the origin 0 0 so these are the format forms of the equation of straight lines and how you can draw the lines suppose y is equal to x that divides the first quadrant and third quadrant in two equal parts that is this is y is equal to x its slope is one y is equal to 2x that is its slope is larger than y is equal to x so it is above the y is equal to x y is equal to 3x y is equal to one half x below the y is equal to x so here is the constant term is zero that's why that's why the line passes through the origin this is y is equal to minus x each point on the line is what x coordinate and y coordinate there is difference of sign 
so these are this is the equation of straight line so y is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to mx so if c is not equal to 0 so y is equal to ax plus b this is the line y is equal to ax plus b that is passing through the point uh, the point the line passing through the point what x if, if we substitute x is equal to 0 then y is equal to b so 0 b this is 0 b point x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is b and uh, if we substitute uh, y as 0 in this equation then we have x is minus b by a so this point is minus b by a 0 so this is the line so if we draw the line uh, uh, y is equal to 4x plus 2 uh, we can draw the line y is equal to 4x plus 2 if this line is in this form so if substitute x is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 2 and if you substitute y is equal to 0 then x is minus half so this is minus half 0 point and this is 0 2 point so this line passes through actually uh, this this uh, line y is equal to 4x plus 2 so uh, uh, the graph of the straight line is very simple that is uh, if uh, there is a uh, no constant term in the equation then uh, the line passes through the origin and if there is constant term then uh, determine two points that uh, that is substitute x is equal to 0 find y and then substitute y is equal to 0 find x and denote that the two points and the line passes through that two points is the graph of that line so y is equal to uh, plus minus mx square or y is equal to plus minus 4 ax square so this is these are the equations of uh, parabola these are the equations of parabola y is equal to plus minus mx square so uh, this parabola this parabola is what the equation of this parabola is y square is equal to mx so if the square of y then it is around the x axis y square mx is around x axis and y square minus mx is around the x axis but uh, uh, my y square is minus mx that's why it is uh, to the left of the uh, y axis and to the right of the y axis y square is equal to mx and if there is a square of x then it is around y axis x square my this is x square my above the x axis and below the x axis is what x square minus m y that is if uh, uh, y square is there in the equation of parabola then it is around x axis and x square is there then it is around the y axis the parabola is around y axis okay so uh, the equation of this is equation of circle x square plus y square is equal to r square with center 0 0 and if the equation is in this form x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square then its center is a b okay so and radius is r so these are some graphs of the functions very simple graphs of the functions now this minimum knowledge is required for the chapter integration that some graphs of straight lines parabola and and some formula of integration so now we are going to start the integration chapter the first is what we are going to start the integration chapter So first is what Hobbini's theorem or its first form of this theorem. So if f x y is continuous throughout the rectangular region, r subscribed as x is less than or equal to b and greater than or equal to a e and y is less than or equal to d and uh, greater than or equal to c. That is, this is rectangle. Uh, then uh, double integration over r f x y d a is what? 
is integration c to d a to b f x y d x d y or integration c to d the integration c to d is on y so write d y first and a to b f x y d y d x that is uh, this Fognes theorem states that if the limits are constant then order is not matter that is we can uh, integrate with respect to x first or we can integrate with respect to y first that is if the limits are constant so we will be going to use this theorem in uh, the examples that is if the order is uh, if the uh, limits are constants then order we can um, change the uh, order easily that is uh, uh, that is integrated with respect to x first or integrated with respect to y first if the limits are constant but if the limits are not constant then the Pavanis theorem is called strong form this is the uh, first form or weak form and this is the second form or is called strong form so r is the region uh, defined by the this uh, a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b and y is what less than or equal to f to x and greater than or equal to f on x that is the limit of y are uh, functions of x not constants f1 and f2 are continuous functions on a suppose if x y is continuous on r then double integration over r fx dx fx y da is equal to double integration over r fx y dx dy and then it is integration uh, uh, f1 x2 f2 x y runs from f1 x2 f2 x here yeah, right y is equal to either y is equal to f1 x2 f2 x fx y dy and then integration a to b dx that is first integrate with respect to y and then integrate with respect to x so here is the order uh, order of the integration is what first with respect to y and then with respect to x so we cannot integrate with respect to x first because uh, integration of uh, uh, limit of y is function of x is not constant if the limit is constant of uh, both x and y then uh, order is not matter that is either integrate with respect to x first or integrate with respect to y first but if the uh, limit of the y is uh, variable in terms of variable and limit of x is constant then first integrate with respect to y first and then integrate with respect to x uh, here is if the limit of suppose uh, x is in terms of variable that is in terms of y and suppose limit of y is constant then what is the order that is then or integrate with respect to x first that is x runs from g1 y to g2 y and then integrate with respect to y that is if the limit of that variable is uh, is is not constant in is in variable form that is the limit of uh, one of them x or y is in the variable form then integrate with respect to that first and then integrate with respect to another variable whose limit is constant so these are the Pavanis theorem first form and second form or weak form and strong form so we are going to use this theorem uh, in a, uh, our example so first example is what evaluate double integration over r fx y da is equal to where fx y is 1 minus 6 x square y and r is the rectangle uh, runs from 0 to 2 x runs from 0 to 2 and y runs from minus 1 to 1 so double integration over r fx y da is equal to is e integration minus 1 to 1 integration 0 to 2 right here uh, for simplified purpose right here x is equal to x is equal to 0 to 2 and here right y is equal to minus 1 to 1 then uh, 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 1 minus 6 x square y fx y is 1 minus 6 x square y and da means what dx dy so we here we integrate with respect to x first and then with respect to y so instead of this we can also integrate with respect to y first and then with respect to x because the limits are constant if we have to integrate uh, with respect to y first then write integration 0 to 2 x runs from 0 to 2 and then write in bracket integration y runs from minus 1 to 1 that is write this integration next place and this integration in the first place out of out of this uh, bracket and then 1 minus 6 x square here write dy 
and then bracket dx. That is, if you have to integrate with respect to y first, then write in this manner. So here, the limit of x and y both are constant. So uh, first integrate with respect to x or with respect to y, we get the same answer. So minus one to one. So integration with respect to x, integration of one is x, and here minus six y is now constant. And the integration of x square is by using x raised to n rule, x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, that is x raised to 2 plus 1, that is x raised to 3 by 3. So 3, uh, 6 by 3 becomes um, 2. And x runs from 0 to 2, right? x is equal to 0 to 2, okay, dy. And then find the value at upper limit, that is substitute x is equal to 2 in this. And then minus x is equal to 0 in this. So write in curly bracket that if you substitute x is equal to 2, we have 2 minus 2 cube is 8 into 2, 16 y. This is a value at upper limit of this bracket minus if you substitute x is equal to 0 in this, we and give the 0 answer. So minus 0, write in curly bracket this, right curly bracket, this bracket minus in a round bracket 0 and then complete the curly bracket and then next step is this into dy. And then integrating with respect to y, so integration of 2 is 2y. The integration of constant is constant into variable. Now y is variable. Here x is variable, therefore integration of 1 is 1 into x. But here is y is variable, therefore integration of 2 is 2y. Minus 16, y integration is y square by 2. And so 16 by 2 is 8. And then find the value at upper limit. So is equal to, next step is is equal to, Substitute x as y as 1, y as 1. So 2 into 1 minus 8 into 1 square. That is 2 uh, is minus, uh, is what? Minus 6 is equal to minus 6 in one bracket. Minus, substitute y as minus 1. So what do we have? Minus 2, minus 1 square is a, uh, is a uh, plus 1. So minus 2 minus uh, 6 becomes minus 10. So minus minus plus minus minus become plus 10 then so minus 6 and plus 10 becomes 4 so this is the way to find the double integration that is double if after uh, this bracket this becomes a single integration this becomes a single integration that is double integration and triple integration converted to single integration and use the rules of sing single integration just remember that if we integrating with respect to x then y is constant if you're integrating with y, then x is constant. If there is a triple integration, dx, dy, dz, that is then integrating with respect to x, then y and z are another variables are constants. If you're integrating with respect to y, then x and z are constant. If you're integrating with respect to z, then x and y variables are constants. So here is the another problem. Evaluate double integration, y sin x into y, d where r is what? Uh, this rectangle that is uh, x runs from 1 to 2 and y runs from 0 to pi by 2 x runs from 1 to 2 and y runs from 0 to pi 0 to pi so y with respect to x first integration so right uh, here is the bracket bracket here right bracket that 1 to 2 x runs from 1 to 2 and y is equal to 0 to pi so y sin x into y dx dy this integration okay so first integrating with respect to x so y is constant and sin x into y integration is minus cos x into y minus cos x into y this y right y as it is so minus cos x into y x runs from 1 to 2 right here 2 and then y right out of the uh, bracket y the here is y and then uh, value at the upper limit that is substitute uh, substitute uh, x as 1. So we have minus cos y minus cos y value of this. Take this minus sign here. So minus y in bracket this. So cos y minus uh, cos 2y cos 2y minus cos 2y. If you substitute here is 2. So minus cos 2y minus minus become plus cos y if you substitute x as 1. So minus minus become plus cos y. Here is out of here y, right? Y here, this y. 
so or, or delete this y from this step okay then y into this so integration of this is what here is y cos 2y y into this bracket mm -hmm. if, if we reverse the order of integration we get that is we can uh, also integrate with respect to y first and then with respect to x that is 1 to 2 right out of the bracket 0 to pi y sin x into y dy dx dy dx okay so integration with respect to y first so here is the substitution y u is uh, y dv is sin x into y dy so we get du is equal to dy substitution integration by substitution Okay, integration by substitution. So, this is the answer of the problem. Or use the part rule. Use the part rule. First, integration of second minus integration, integration of second, derivative of first. So use that part rule. We get this answer, zero answer. First, y integration of sin x into y is what? Sin x into y is cos x into y divided by x. x is constant now. Minus cos x into y divided by x. First, integration of second. Don't use this substitution. This is first, this is second. First, integration of second. Cos sin x into y. Now, with integration is with respect to y, therefore x is constant. The integration is minus cos x into y divided by x runs from y runs from 0 to pi plus plus uh, first integration of second minus 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 in integration derivative of first into integration of second so integration of second is what minus cos xy divided by x minus minus become plus and derivative of first derivative of y is one with respect to y derivative of first is so we have this okay from 0 to pi and then integration of cos xy is what is uh, sin xy divided by x sin xy divided by x cos y integration because with respect to y and then we have this value integration of y into this and then it's integration from 1 to 2 integration of this 1 to 2 value of upper limit value at lower limit similarly value at upper limits value at lower limit and then integration of this with respect to x here integration of this quantity is this its integration with respect to x is this again uh, with respect to x <coughs> 1 by x as first quantity cos cos by x as second first integration of second minus integration integration of second derivative of first derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square so i can part rule and then the value at the upper limit minus value at the lower limit we have this answer after simplification integration of these parties and then value at the uh, runs from 1 to 2 1 to 2 we have the answer 0 similarly here uh, here is the y notation y y term this y and then y in bracket this integration is by using part rule we have the answer 0 similar problem find the value of the solid s that is bounded by the elliptic paraboloid x square plus 2y square plus z is equal to 60 
the plane x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 and the three coordinate planes okay so we observe s is solid that lies under the surface z is equal to fxy is equal to this 16 minus x square minus 2y square z is equal to and the above square r is what 0 to 2 x runs from 0 to 2 y runs from 0 to 2 coordinate planes that's so volume v is equal to double integration over r fxy dx dy is integration 0 to 2 integration 0 to 2 right this 16 minus x square minus 2y square dx dy that is the problem is converted into two variable find z and then write z as f of xy and x runs from 0 to 2 y runs from 0 to 2 and solve this integration with respect to x first that's why 16 is integration is 16 x plus x cube by 3 plus 2 y square now constant with respect to x integration so 2 y square integration is 2 y square into x x runs from 0 to 2 then find the value at upper limit this is 80, 88 by 3 and then that is substitute x is 2 and then x is 0 we substitute x is equal to 0 then we have the answer 0 so this is the value at the upper limit that is if we substitute x is equal to 2 we have this answer and if we substitute x is equal to 0 in this bracket we have the 0 answer and then it's integration with respect to y 88 by 3 integration is 88 by 3 y 3 or 5 you check whether it is 3 or 5 I think 3, there is 3. And then uh, the value, uh, the integration of 4 y cube is y, y square is what? y cube by 3. So 4 by minus 4 by 3 y cube. Then value at the upper limit, that is substitute y as 2, we get 48 answer. And substitute y as 0, we get answer 0. So 48 minus 0, that is 48. So similar problems are here. Solve all these problems. All, all these problems. Answers are also given. So these are some another problems. So in order to solve such a problem, we have to draw the figure. So first we will see the, this problem. Find the volume of the solid that lies under the uh, parable z is equal to x square plus y square and above the region d in x y plane bounded by the line y is equal to 2x and parabola y is equal to x square so this is y is equal to x square parabola x square means around y axis x square x square is equal to y this is the parabola x square is equal to y x square means around the x y axis and is above the y x, x axis because uh, x square is plus y and y is equal to another line y is equal to 2x this is y is equal to 2x okay y is equal to 2x like passing through the origin so the point of intersection is what 2 4 how we can find this point of intersection solve these two equations y is equal to x square and y is equal to 2x if we substitute y as 2x, then we have the equation x square minus 2x. If we solve these two equations simultaneously, so they substitute y as 2x. So 2x is equal to x square means x square minus 2x is equal to 0. Take x as common, then x minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have x is equal to 0, that is this point, and x is equal to 2. If we substitute x is equal to 2, then y is 4. So 0, 0 and 2, 2, 4 are the point of intersection. Okay. So, uh, D is the region x, y, x runs from 0 to 2, uh, that is above the, above the, above the region D in x, y plane, okay. So, x runs from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, x runs from 0 to 2, we have to find the value of this solid part. So, x runs from 0 to 2 and y runs from 0 to 4, 0 to 4 y runs from 0 to 4 so y runs from x square to 2x x square to 2x so how we can solve this uh, integration that is the volume v is equal to double integration over d x square plus y square this is the region suppose d x square plus y square z is x square plus y square d 
dx dy. So uh, take the strip parallel to y axis in order to integration with respect to y. So this integration we can write this integration in two ways. So first way is what take strip parallel to y axis. So right here, like this strip. So one end of this strip uh, touches to the line x square y is equal to x square touches to the line y is equal to 2x and another uh, lower end it touches to the parabola y is equal to x square so y runs from x square to 2x and this strip runs from this this to this therefore x runs from 0 to 2 x square plus y square dy ds if you have to integrate this with respect to x first then take strip parallel to x axis parallel to x axis and then we have the limits uh, x runs from root to y root to y right here root to y to to uh, 2x uh, to, uh, y by 2 y by 2 x runs from y by 2 to root y and uh, y runs from 0 to 2 x runs from 0 to 2 like that y runs from 0 to 4 so in we can integrate with respect to y first and then with respect to x so here is the integration is with respect to y first therefore take strip parallel to y axis this parallel to y axis and it's one n touches to the line uh, y is equal to 2x so one limit is 2x and another is what is y is equal to x square so x square is another rule so right x square below and above 2x or interchange the places of this limit and x runs from 0 to 2 because in order to cover this region we have to remove uh, we have to move the strip from 0 to 2 this to this that is 0 to 2 so and then integration with respect to y first because the uh, variable uh, the limit of y is in terms of variable so in order to uh, therefore, the, this is the Fabini's theorem that if the limit are invariable, limit of y are invariable, then integrate with respect to y first and then with respect to x. So here is the integration is with respect to y first because limits are in the variable and then with respect to x. So integration x square is what? x square y, y cube by 3 y is equal to x square to x dx and then integration with respect to x that is find up value of upper limit substitute y as x and then substitute y as x square we have this answer and then it's then it's integration with respect to x okay that is integ integration of x raised to 6 is x raised to 7 by 7 x raised to 4 is x raised to 5 by 5 x cube is x x raised to 4 by 4 and then find the value at the upper limit minus that is substitute x is 2 and then x is 0 we have this answer that is this is the we can also integrate this with respect to x first so if i have to integrate x first then take strip parallel to x axis so one end of this strip touches to y is equal to x to x that is x is what y by 2 so write y by 2 as a lower limit and another end of this strip uh, touches to y is equal to x square so x is root y so y by 2 to root y and you know, y runs from 0 to 4 0 to 4 this if you draw this line then this point is 4 y runs from 0 to 4 y runs from 0 to 4 and then we have the same answer so this is the change of actually change of order we can change the order of integration. So in order to integrate with respect to y first, take strip parallel to y axis. And in order to uh, integrate with respect to x first, then take strip parallel to x axis. And then find the uh, limits of uh, from that strips. Okay. So we will see same type problems in the next lecture.